Hi, uh, my name is Gwendolyn Pipes and I'm a PhD student um, in the Department of Soil Sciences at UW-Madison. Um, I'm here at Black Hawk Island conducting research. Uh, I'm going to be looking at carbon cycling uh, depending on specific tree species. Um, and I'm going to be looking at how bacteria and fungi are incorporated into the soil um, depending on their speciation. A carbon sink is basically where carbon can be stored for longer term amounts of time. So like the ocean is a good sink. It's just taking it like out of the atmosphere um, or out of like trees and such and like storing it. It is like one of the largest carbon sinks. Um, and so if you have good structure in soil, um, it makes it so that the carbon will stay in the soil for longer. Soils have a very long time to store carbon depending on how disturbed they are. So things like erosion or agriculture or logging or mining disturbs the soil and makes it so then that carbon is released. So then if we are able to understand how um, different bacteria and fungi um, influence how that is, how carbon is being taken into the soil and stored, um, then we can use that to apply it to larger scale restoration projects um, it can form our like forest management and um, that will help a lot with climate change because you're uh, dealing with like greenhouse gases uh, like co2 and methane that you can then store within the soil for a longer amount of time cores like four cores around specific oak and maple sugar maple trees and then i'm gonna use those to culture, bacteria, and fungi. And then I'm gonna create microcosm experiments um, in the lab. And I'm going to grow up the bacteria and fungi, but using a like labeled carbon source so that I can track the carbon throughout its process of going into the soil. Are you using isotopes of carbon to yes. label them? I'm gonna be using 13 carbon or carbon 13. Um, to label them and so the bacteria and fungi will be grown up using glucose that has that has a carbon 13 labeled signature.